Alright guys, the Punisher Max 17 here once again for my second work in progress of the Liger Zero Schneider uh, Kotobukiya model. And this is uh, similar to my first work in progress, just showing you off some inner frame pieces I got done. Uh, here's everything I've top coated now. You can see this entire box is pretty much filled with it. Ignore the white pieces, that's for another model I'm in the process of doing right now. Uh, you'll see it later. You can probably tell what it is off just looking at some of these pieces, though. But, got a lot of this stuff done. Primarily, all the leg pieces are done in here. I'm just kind of moving the camera around to show you everything. The green stuff is leftover pieces from my uh, Gadessa. Or Gades, technically. Uh, some pieces I really liked of this are the uh, head pieces. You can see very much, a lot of detail there. Well, uh well-made pieces, you know, well-detailed built pieces. And I gotta say, I like my paint job on them, too. I think, uh, I wasn't sure at first about doing the detail on this, since all I'd ever seen of this was a black inner frame, just pitch black. I wasn't sure how all the silver and copper and gold detailing would be, but I think it turned out really well. And uh, I'm really gonna like the outcome of it, I think. I think it's all gonna go together real nicely. Now this is what I have top coated, but it's not everything I have painted. I'll work my way over here, and things are kind of a mess. <laughs> Just ignore that. Uh, and here I have the pieces I've hand painted, but yet have yet to top coat. Uh, just painted these yesterday or last night. Didn't have a chance to top coat them yet, and I was getting a little, giving them a little time to dry anyway. It's not focusing. It's seeming to focus on everything else, but this at the moment. But uh got some more pieces here just basic stuff like a few parts to the legs some of these kind of things uh, just like the joints stuff like this not sure why it isn't focusing I don't know this camera is more of a pain than I thought it would be when I bought it but oh well and um, the only pieces here I don't have painted are these four pieces right there but yeah, everything's looking good here, looking good there. So, as far as that's going, it's going really well. I would have had more of this done, but I hit a speed bump in it with the top coating. Now, what I use for top coat is Krylon Flat Coat. Uh, it's cheap stuff, but it works really well for me. I've never had any problems with it. And, um, I just, nothing else works for me. I, I like this stuff. Now, the problem is, I'm think they stopped manufacturing it a while back uh, not a while back but about a month ago because I went to buy some more at a Walmart here in town and they don't have any and uh, I kept checking back kept checking back never had any never had any and finally I checked Krylon's website and it's not listed there anymore so they don't even have it uh, they started Krylon starting making making a matte coat in this is one's place though so I bought it thinking okay maybe the matte coat will work I got it, and for one, it eats off all my black paint. I'm not sure why it is. It works for most other colors. It eats away at them a little bit, but not like it does the black. The black pretty much entirely is eaten away with it. And uh, also, it just doesn't give it a finish that I like. If you looked at the uh, my Gades, that's what it was coated in. I just, I like the model itself, but I don't like the finish that it has. But uh, basically, ever since I've been looking around at every Walmart I can find, or every hobby store, because I haven't found any hobby store that has it yet, like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. But I've been checking every Walmart I can, and finally I came across a Walmart uh, in a town about an hour away from me that had three cans of it. So I have this one and then two more. Now what I've been doing with this, instead of just spraying it on these pieces, is uh, decanting the spray can into uh, something I can run through my airbrush. And... Uh, Basically, I learned that from VFIN a while back on his tutorials. Great video. Uh, works for paint spray cans, too. And uh, very informative. I didn't know you could even do that. And learned it from there and did it on this. And I gotta say, the finish that uh, this decanted clear coat is giving me is actually even better than the finish I was getting just spraying it out of the can. I'm liking it a whole lot. So, uh, it's working really well. Only problem is, it has uh, gummed up my airbrush some. 
just because you know the clear coat dries in there and stuff and uh, just kind of turns into a gummy substance so you got to wash it thoroughly afterwards but for the finish it's getting me and for the results I'm looking for it's working really nice I tried buying some Tamiya flat base and mixing that with my future and uh, it, it made it flat but the finish was uneven it was kind of splotchy and stuff I just didn't like it so decanting this stuff is what works for me if you, if I can find it it's been nice so I've already covered all of these pieces and getting ready to cover those and uh, also covered all the white pieces in here with this and I still have probably four-fifths of this bottle left so decanting it's also giving me a lot more coverage and uh, so yeah sorry I just had that whole uh, part about decanting the spray can and flat coat there but it really helped me out and for anybody else who used this stuff for their flat coats thought I'd let you know about that too so that's about all I have for this video uh, just wanted to show you guys you know let you know where I'm at since it's been a while since I posted a video so thanks for watching guys hopefully by next time I have this have another work in progress uh, all of the inner kernel frame will be done and assembly will be started on it so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time